Hello, I'm Valentine Warner. I'm here at Selfridges to support Project Ocean, and this afternoon I'll be cooking red mullet with Rui on toast. All eyes are turned to the ocean at the moment, and quite rightly so. We've been hounding the same fish relentlessly for quite a long time. And the point really is that there's a lot of other things we eat, which we really used to eat with enthusiasm in this country, but have kind of fallen off the table. I'm going to make a rui. It hasn't got bread in it, it hasn't got grated hard boiled eggs. So this is a kind of cheat rui, taught to me by Alistair Little. Instead of putting in chilli, um, I'm going to put in some good Moroccan harissa. I like to deepen it a bit and I love the little brown anchovy. So about three anchovies, a clove of garlic, a squeeze of lemon juice, two egg yolks. What I like to do is make the majority of the mix with sunflower oil and then just put the, a little bit of olive oil in for the taste, but don't make the whole thing with olive oil. Add the oil very, very slowly. I've got some saffron water here, which will give that lovely taste, but if you feel it's very, very dense and it's just about to kind of come apart again, loosen it with a bit of um, warm water. Toast, nice piece of good sourdough bread under the grill. So often, uh, fish is desperately overcooked by people. I'd always air to undercooking a piece of fish rather than overcooking it. And then, in the fillets go. I'm gonna cook the fish purely on its skin side so it goes really nice and crispy. Quite often when you're cooking a fish fillet, just what's happening here, it rises up in the middle and you get two kind of crispy sides. A simple way of solving that is just put something on top of it, which will keep it nice and flat. Um, what I'm looking for is the fish to kind of cook through from one side, but when you've got about a finger's width of uncooked fish down the middle, that's when you want to flip it over, turn off the heat, leave it there for about 10 seconds, and it should, with a bit of luck, be absolutely spot on. My tomatoes are ready. Look at the wonderful, wonderful color. That's from all eating shrimp. Little bit of oil. You want to leave a slight squidge in the bread for that textural experience. Tomatoes on top. Pieces of red mullet and then some rui over the top. You can kind of do that in seven minutes. That's really, really simple eating. Lunch on the table.